Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, the engine Brock Gordon, and we have another action-packed episode of HCW Action coming towards you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting started as here comes Peter Sinclair. As he makes the second entrance here in HCW ever. As last week he was able to knock off Joshua Osborne an upset. Count out, granted. But still an upset. And he will have to <laughs> uh, quote face the wrath of the Fortunate Sons. As he now takes on the leader of the Fortunate Sons. Jordan Marks, the Canadian Spider, who is especially nasty after losing to J.C. Baker for the HCW Championship at the Great American Battle Royal. Here Sinclair is ready. He advanced to the finals of the KCPW Championship. And he will take on Death Ram. So, there we go. That set is that final is set for Kansas City Clash. We'll have that coming up for you. However, he still has to take on this man, who is uh, none too pleased. There he is, Jordan Marks in the middle, Austin Dynamo on the left. Leonard Griffin on the right, and in the back, hiding like a scalded dog, is the fourth member of the Fortunate Sons, the youngest member, is Joshua Osborne. So the Canadian Spider is none too pleased that he has to step into this situation here. The tag Team Champions were victorious at the Great American Battle Royal. I and assume that after their win there, they have their eyes on possibly the AAW championships as well. But first, they still have to defend their titles at March Madness. And we'll have more info as to who they will be facing in the coming weeks. As the Outlaws will be in action next week. So I guarantee you that the Outlaws will want another shot at those tag team titles. As Peter Sinclair looks ready, Jordan Marks is ready, and will the punishment continue? As we will see here, Jordan Marks is in trouble early. It's Peter Sinclair with a nice snap suplex. Sinclair, as I said last week, defeated Jordan, Mar Jordan Marks' pupil, Joshua Osborne, by count out, but still beat him. That drop kick. Mark's going for the pin. One. And that's all he can muster off that one. Off that drop kick. One count. A big lariat right there by Peter Sinclair. Sinclair is coming out of the gates firing on all cylinders. As he wants to show that his win over Joshua Osborne was no fluke last week. And he wants to knock off a former HCW champion. And so far, he's showing that he. Has the stuff to do so. Has him up and a big Samoan drop right there by Peter Sinclair. Nice right hand right there. Oh, and a combination right here by Jordan Marks and he fierces off with a lariat. And the cover off that lariat. Yeah, doesn't even get a one count off of it. And Marks takes control of the head. Sets him up on the ropes. Gets him down on the middle, and he's going to choke him out. What a despicable display there by Jordan Marks. So go to work on the leg. There rolls to evade, and is fought off by Marks and pushed away. Not much of a height or weight difference in this one. They are roughly about the same height and size. And a cross arm breaker locked in by Jordan Marks. Could this be it for Peter Sinclair? No, he reverses any fights out of it. 
Snap Mare and a kick to the back there by Sinclair and a knee drop. Senior referee John Hesch right there. Looking at this very closely and a nice left on clothesline. Takes control and a big DDT by Peter Sinclair. And he has the full support of the faithful here in Liberty in the HCW arena. Right hand connects. Throws him out of the ring. What is Sinclair doing? He's going. Oh my lord! Peter Sinclair with a heck of a dive to the outside. And he'll now go to work on Marks on the outside. This is how Sinclair beat Joshua Osborne last week. I would expect he'd want to get another win. Oh, but Marks is quickly up and he gets into the ring. Leonard Griffin distract Pete was able to distract Peter Sinclair and a big suplex by Jordan Marks the Canadian spider back on the attack Sinclair however gets him into the ring here Sinclair has dominated this match so far he has him cut oh a roll of the dice but Sinclair may have been reversed there I could not tell Peter has him on the hung out on the middle ropes. And now he'll repay the favor by choking Jordan Marks. Picks him up. Headbutt. Oh, and that just seemed to make the Canadian Spider angry. Neckbreaker. As he's going up top. Oh, that's never a good sign. Oh, spinal tap. And the cover. One, two. Oh, a kick out at two by Peter Sinclair. The spiral tap was not able to get him down. Oh, oh, he's got a cross face locked in. Peter Sinclair has a cross face locked in. However, the Canadian Spider fights out of it. Duck under. Oh, and a big lariat right there by Peter Sinclair. And another one. He picks him up. It's one clothesline. A second clothesline. Sets him up again. A third clothesline by Peter Sinclair. Shot to the face. And on one knee goes Jordan Marks. He is in deep trouble. He gets shot up into the ropes. Back elbow connects. Peter Sinclair is gassed, however, it looks like. And here comes the Canadian Spider with two shoulder blocks. He gets thrown off into the ropes. However, he's up top. What's he looking for? Double axe handle connects. And the Canadian Spider may have this one one off that. One, two, a kick out at two by Peter Sinclair. Oh man, Peter Sinclair is taking it right to the crafty veteran as he gets leveled with a major drop kick right there. And a reversal by Peter Sinclair. Super kick connects. What a super kick right there. He plays to the crowd. Now he's choking out Jordan Marks in the ropes. Oh, Marks is done full around. Single leg. Canadian Crab locked in. And this could be it. Yep. Peter Sinclair is forced to tap out. And Jordan Marks gets revenge on Peter Sinclair for the Fortunate Sons. And what a job there by Peter Sinclair. As, uh. Oh, is this is a sign of respect. Jordan Marks is shaking Peter Sinclair's hand. Oh my, you may have earned the respect.
punches by Bones and an uppercut gets him. Shot goes in. Rush to the pond again. Score! Jenner, Jenner, score! Jenner to leave out. Score! It's up one over to Manson. Manson, score! No, Giordano, shy. Chucky, score! Brian! To Perron, score! Over to Rust, Rust a shot, score! Perron gets hit, gets over to Rust, Rust, score! By himself, over to Giordano, shot, score! Hey, 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 Kansas City! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW's. We have the debut of the Storm Sisters here in HCW, and there they are! Allison on the left, Jesse on the right. They're the younger sisters of Colt Storm here in HCW. They are second generation female wrestlers. Colt Storm, that's right, is a second generation wrestler himself. That's what the Fortunate Sons originally were, was a collection of second and third generation stars. And they easily could have been in the Fortunate Sons, however, have gotten their start here in the last five years. Jesse is only 18, is only 19 years old, excuse me. Allison is 21. As they make their HCW debuts here, so they will have to go through Sonia Gates and Haley Rose. And we are off and ready to go here. Allison Storm in the ring first and nails Sonia Gates with a big boot. And she's going to tag in her younger sister, Jesse. Jesse Storm now in the ring. And a jawbreaker by Jesse Storm to Sonya. A younger Storm got involved in wrestling, of course, because it was a family business. And a stomp right there to Sonya Gates. And she'll bring her over. Oh, nice forearm shiver right there. Takes control of the head. Place her up against the ropes. Bring her down. Comes off the ropes. Whoa, nicely done. Nice flying hip attack right there. Kick to the gut. Oh! My lord, what a code red! There's Sonya playing to the crowd after just... Oh, yep, that's about what you get there. And a Tornado DDT coming inside from the apron. A tag into Allison. Allison plays to the crowd as Sonya tries to make her way over and does make the tag to Haley Rose. Big Claro's line coming out that gate there by Haley Rose. Both these women are part of the KCPW roster. And will be vying for the KCPW Women's Championship at the Kansas City Clash. And right now they've got to take on as a code red by Allison. They have to take on the Storm Sisters here in the cover off the code red. One, only a one count there by Allison. Now it pulls her up by the nose and rakes the eyes as well. Has her up in power slam position. Oh, and I just hung her out over the ropes in a stun gun. And the tag is made to Sonya Gates. And there's a shoulder block right there. Slap misses. Remember that snap mare and a kick do connect. Oh, and a spinning leg drop. Nicely done there by Sonya Gates. And the drop kick connects. Drop connects and another Snapmare takeover. Now has control of the head and rains the elbows down as uh, well John Hesh is right in frame there. Thanks, John. And a cross fade. No, it's a it's an arm bar. Arm bar locked in. Easily avoided. And a nice spin out there by Allison Rose. Allison Rose Storm, of course. It's her full name. Nicely done there by Allison. 
A nice fireman's carry. Allison actually went to state wrestling here in the state of Missouri. She tags in her sister, who also went to state here in the state of Missouri in amateur wrestling in high school. In fact, the entire Storm family are very well accomplished amateur wrestlers. And that chop connects, and another chop connects by the younger Storm. Forearm. And ho! Oh, it's an octopus stretch. An octopus stretch locked in. Haley Rose comes in to break it up. Well done there. Throwing it in the corner. A shoulder block connects. Oh, clothesline. And a bulldog by Sonia Gates. And she'll tag in Haley Rose. Rose now back in the ring. Stomp connects. Super kick to the gut. Oh, nicely done there. A nice modified STO. Oh, and a head bite. Good lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I have received word to Destiny Diamond. We'll find out her opponent at March Madness on a number one contendership match. Good Lord, what a boot right there. In two weeks' time, as it'll be Ashley White and Brooklyn Bell going at it for the number one contendership. And a drop kick to the knee connects there by Jesse Storm over the reversal by Haley Rose. I'm telling you, Haley Rose could really be something here in the Alliance of American Wrestling. Of course, the governing body over HCW, Los Angeles Professional Wrestling, Tennessee Valley Wrestling, Dixie Pro Wrestling, and BCW along with KCPW. And both these ladies facing off against the Storm Sisters could be big players here the AAWA here in the near future. There's a tag team move now coming from the youngsters from KCPW. Nicely done there. Drop toe hold elbow. Drop connects as Jesse Storm is in deep trouble here. Gets a fireman's carry. Reversal. And now it looks like she'll do some tag team work of her own with her sister No Another Chop. And a kick actually boots her down on the corner. And she's just face washing her with the cowboy or the cowgirl boots. Oh my! What a boot there by Jesse Storm. And that one looked rather vicious as there's the Enziguri. Storm picks her up, shoots her off into the ropes, and a drop kick connects. Beautifully done there. Oh, she's got the pin. Cover one, two, and a kick out at two by Jesse. So Storm's able to kick out at that one. As Mandy, or oh, a Death Valley driver by Haley Rose. Could this be it? The cover. One, two, oh, not even a two count. That Death Valley driver could have been the end there of Jesse Storm as she gets hit there on the reversal by Jesse Storm, whatever she's going for. Leapling clothesline connects. Now Jesse Storm goes to the top rope. And here it comes. Oh, she missed the moonsault. Oh my! And now an arm bar by Allison Storm. She's got that locked in deep. And Sonia Rose, or Sonia Gates, if, pardon me, is able to come in and save her partner. Big DDT right there by Allison Storm, however. And that one might be all she wrote. The cover, one, 
two, three. And the Storm Sisters pick up the victory after reeling after a little bit. They're able to get the win. And see right there. I can't tell you what that was, but it was a one count. And right here, I thought Jesse Storm was in deep trouble. She was able to fight out of that. Here's that Death Valley driver by Haley Rose. The cover off that, I thought maybe Haley Rose had her off that Death Valley driver. Only the two count. And you see that Storm DDT right there. Their brother calls it the Colt 99. And the Storm Sisters are victorious in their debut here in HCW. Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. Because we've got another great match for you coming up after this. After these messages by your sponsors. Honesty, integrity, client confidentiality. These are just some of the things that you can expect here at Plant Counseling in Columbia, Missouri. Located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri. We are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll free number. 800-298-3950 to schedule an appointment today because at Cot Counseling we care about our customers not about our customers money Hi, welcome back to Jim Marvel's Marvel as you can see here we got this nice Ford Focus and let me tell you I sell honest prices at honest rates Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks, we got bad trucks. I'm seeing this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm gonna sell them like wildfire. I'm gonna sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm going to sell them as fast and quick as I can. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW's Quinn Rice makes his way to the ring. And he'll be on one-on-one -on -one action. So he'll take on the high-flying man from Huntsville, Alabama, Harris Saban. Quinn Rice ready to go. There's a crowd's behind him here. A native of none other than Poplar Bluffs in Missouri, which is in the boot of Missouri. However, he's got to take on this man right here. The high flyer from Huntsville, Harris Saban, who is ready to go here. I have no doubt in my mind he will Be prepped and ready. Here's he's looking to make a impact here. The loss that he suffered at the hands in that eight man contest at HCW Great American Battle Royal. So he's looking for a nice new fresh start here. So Quinn Rice is ready. Harris Saban's ready. And Hesh says, let's get it on! Nice job there by Saban. He's going to go off the cover off of it. An easy kick out right there. Kick to the gut. Has him up for a pump handle. Nick, oh my lord! I don't know how Harris Saban is moving. There is able to do that, and Quinn Rice is able to move off that and Saban's just taking it right to him right now big knee to the chest and he has a sleeper hold applied and when it comes to Harris Saban of course you've gotta watch out for that devastating terminating knee as a flatliner right there by Quinn Rice Cause that terminator knee will just Terminate you. 
A nice DDT right there by Quinn Rice as he's back on the attack. I'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsors, Royals Blue, Royal Blues Bar and Grill, Cop Counseling, Jim Marvel's Marvelville, Duncan Trade Company, and the Kansas City Bandits. There's a big shot right there by Harris Saban. Without our sponsors, we couldn't do this for you. Saban has him up in a big vertical suplex. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event of the evening is for the HCW YouTube Championship. As Danny Fuller will defend it against Seraph. The man sent down from the heavens. And here we go. Oh my god! Harris Saban may have just knocked him out off that, but he's not going to go for the concussion or go for the cover as Quinn Rice may have gotten a concussion off that. Nice side Russian leg sweep right there. And a flatliner. Another one by Quinn Rice as he's targeting the head of Saban, which I'm not surprised by as he's going to go for a third one. Although, if I was in the ring with Saban, I would go after the knees and legs. Oh! As you can see right there, they are uh, very effective. And Saban, good God, Harris with another one. And he's not showing any quarter for Quinn Rice here. Now working the arm. Saban picks him up. Right hand connects. Oh, and a reverse by Quinn Rice. And a DDT. We'd also like to thank the production company, CCTV Channel 18 here in Liberty, for helping us with this broadcast each and every week. Reminder, we are here in the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. Nice DDT right there by Quinn Rice. So he's been staying blow for blow with Harris Saban so far in this match. Snapmare takeover and now a chin lock applied. And it's fought out of by Quinn Rice. And another flatliner. Right hand connects. Nice. Reverse DDT right there. By Quinn Rice, the cover. One. And only a one count there. Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder, the next HCW pay-per-view is March Madness on March 13th in Omaha, Nebraska from the Baxter Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. Already signed to that card so far is we know of is JC Baker defending his HCW championship against Evan Flynn. And there's a nice hip toss neck breaker right there by Harris Saban and a kick out. Also, what we know is Destiny Diamond will defend her HCW Women's Championship. The HCW Tag Team Champions, the Fortunate Sons, Austin Dynamo and Leonard Griffin will be in action defending them. HCW YouTube Championship will be on the line. As we'll see if Danny Fuller is able to hang on to it and defend it there. Also, as well, we will have Scott Race in action as he'll defend his HCW Central States Heavyweight Championship. That and much more. And the Terminator knee right there! Saban off of the cover. One. Two, three, the Terminator knee puts away Quinn Rice. And Harris Saban picks up the win here in HCW. I'll show you the highlights here. Reversal right there by Quinn Rice. I don't quite know what Harris Saban was going for. Right here we see that reverse DDT. 
And a cover. Another big move by Quinn Rice. He only got a one count off of it. However, Harris Saban was most certainly on his game here tonight. And there you see that Terminator knee. And Harris Saban picks up the win. Ladies and gentlemen, after these messages, we'll have Evan Flynn in action. Ahead of his mad big match at March Madness. And you don't want to miss that, folks. We'll be back after these messages. If you have been affected by COVID and are in dire need of food in the Old West, look no further than Duncan Trading Company. We'll deliver somewhat fresh meat to you as quick as we can. Duncan Trade Company, if we don't get it to you on time, then, well, we're probably dead. You wolves. Fuck you wolves. How you doing today, sir? Here's your shipment. Duncan Trading Company. Delivers on time as promised. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to HCW as Brian Fuller's in the ring as he'll take on Evan Flynn here tonight. And remember, Evan Flynn has made a, uh, oh yes, he has made a change to his attire and he said he would. And uh, he's changed his attitude since winning that eight-man contest for the HCW, or number one contendership for the HCW weight championship at March Madness correction I'm sorry March Madness will take place on the 14th of March Evan Flynn is very much ready to go here he says he has a surprise for H.C. Baker, I uh, can only assume that means. He looks ready to go here. Brian Fuller's ready. He's very mad that he lost in the H in the KCPW Championship Tournament. And here we go. Evan Flynn right after Brian Fuller with a neck breaker. Chop right there connects. Take over Brian into the corner. A reversal by Fuller. He's up top and he's got him in a triangle arm hold over the ropes. What a beautiful display there by Brian Fuller working an arm. And a drop kick connects. Oh my lord. What a job there by Evan Flynn. Cover. Kick out. Now oh, Evan Flynn's in trouble again. And Flynn taking back over control. A big front slam right there. Super kick missed right there, and a single league attempt is thwarted, and Evan Flynn is repped and ready to go as he uh, mocks shooting the crowd. Oh, yes, Evan. That's exactly what you want to promote there. 
big Larry out of the corner off the ropes well done there by Evan I have to give him that he is quite the tremendous athlete and wrestler it's a former HCW tag team champion it's Brian Fuller with a big neck breaker right there so he was able to defeat his partner another neck breaker right there by Brian Fuller Alan Thomas after he turned on him and we have not seen Alan Thomas in a while and a takeover there by Brian Fuller turn off a little bit of the amateur wrestling ability oh what a combination by Fuller the native of none other than Davenport, Iowa the same city that has produced Seth Rollins Even Flynn back in control and has him up for a big point buster. Reversal by Brian Fuller. Brian Fuller is a mat based wrestler, no doubt. It's like growing up, some of his favorite stars were that of Terry Funk and Ric Flair. And Flynn now in a lot of trouble here. And another neck breaker. The <laughs> game plan by Brian Fuller here is very obvious. Go after the neck of Evan Flynn. And she has had a neck injury in the past. So that makes sense for Brian Fuller to want to expend that injury. Oh, nicely done there by Fuller. He does another double leg takedown. He'll rain more punches down. Oh, no, an arm bar's locked in. But Evan Flynn fights out of that one. Again, Fuller back in control. But Flynn might have had enough. Picks him up. Oh, and a reversal. Well done there by Fuller. And another neck breaker. He just keeps going after that same neck breaker. Eventually you'd think Flynn would reverse it. So what is he going for here? Oh, my. Ho! The excruciating pain that Evan Flynn's got to be in. No, I can't say that he didn't have it coming towards him after what he did to Alan Thomas in the Prison Riot match at last year's Absolute Mayhem. He just let, left Alan Thomas a beaten and bloody mess. We have not seen Alan Thomas since. He suffered a knee injury in that match. So, Alan, if you are listening to this, we wish you the best of luck in your recovery, and we hope that you're taking some uh, joy out of Brian Fuller putting the boots to your former partner. Picks him back up after the neckbreaker. Kick to the gut. And another nice combination right there by Fuller. He is, seems to be very gassed at this point. And the reversal by Flynn. Who picks him up. Oh, here it comes. Back suplex. German suplex. Spins him around. Vertical suplex, the trifecta. And the cover off the trifecta. One, two, three. Evan Flynn victorious here tonight. After taking a pounding by Brian Fuller, he's able to recover and pick up the win. Siege was just able to nail the trifecta to pick up the win. So still, I have no idea what surprise he had. So JC Baker, as you see right there, the end of that trifecta. My bad, that might have been the brain buster. 
I know that was the end of the trifecta. I don't know what spreads he had in store for JC Baker. He just got his butt whipped the entire match. He was able to pick up the win. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back after these messages, it'll be time for our main event for the HCW YouTube Championship. Seraph versus Danny Fuller. Stick White with us. We'll be back. Welcome back to Jim Marvel's Marvel. As you can see here, we got this nice Ford Focus. And let me tell you, I sell honest prices at honest rates. Marvel's Motors gave me a great deal. Now, as you can see, we got this fine GMC truck here. We got all kinds of trucks. We got good trucks, we got bad trucks. I'm seeing this truck over here. I don't even know what that truck is. It looks like a fine piece of truck right there. Let me tell you, we got a lot of those here at Jim Marvel's Marvelville. Now, let me tell you something to finally wrap this up. Let me tell you about this Jeep right here. They got all kinds of Jeeps here. I'm going to sell them like wildfire. I'm going to sell them as much as I can. I don't care how much I price them, but I'm going to sell them as fast and quick as I can. Missouri, located at 65211 Sweet K here in Columbia, Missouri. We are willing to help you in any way that we can. So if you need to schedule an appointment, just dial this toll-free number, 800-298-3950, to schedule an appointment today. Because at Cot Counseling, we care about our customers, not about our customers' money. Overhand punches by Bones and an uppercut gets him! Shot goes in! Rust to the burn again. Score! Jenner Jenner. Score! Jenner to leave out. Score! Sub one over the Manson. Manson. Score! No, Jordana shot. Shot. Score! Brian. To Perron, SCORE! Over to Rust, Rust a shot, SCORE! Perron gets hit, gets over to Rust, Rust, SCORE! By himself, over to Giordano, shot, SCORE! Hey, 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 Kansas City! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the HCW Arena for main event of the evening. As here comes the Seraph, a man sent down by the heavens. Seraph on his way to the ring. This will be his first shot. The HCW YouTube Championship. This will be a championship match under championship match rules. Seraph was part of the eight man contest at the Great American Battle Royal. Came up just short in that contest. He was actually the one, if I'm not mistaken, pinned by Evan Flynn. Here we are. He's ready to go. So he'll take on a man who has bested quite a few members of the HCW roster to win or retain his championship. Gained it last night, or last week, I should say. Seraph looks ready. He wants to be the second or the third ever HCW YouTube champion. And here comes the current HCW YouTube champion. One turns, and there he is, the Phantom Brian Fuller. course accompanied to the ring by his manager the great Iron Man Isaac Nelson who wrestled here in HCW back in the late 80s and early 90s along with the mid to late 80s as well or the mid to early 80s as well Now 
Danny Fuller ready. He regained his YouTube championship last week over Zach Albright in our main event. He now looks ready to go here. Seraph is ready. Danny Fuller's ready. 20 minutes on the clock. Here we go for the YouTube championship. Seraph starting off hot here. Over the way to win a championship or we'll retain it here in HCW's win two out of three falls. Submission, count out, pinfall, or disqualification all apply here. Seraph is on the attack early. He goes, oh, and a Pele kick! As Danny Fuller has not quite met a man of the skill set of Seraph, but he uh, still knows he can run him over. The Phantom and the Seraph. Seraph, an angelic being sent, or an angelic being in Christian mythology or Christianity, is what a Seraph is. And Danny, the Phantom. Way these are two spirits fighting each other. A cover. And a kick out right there by Seraph. The Enziguri misses, and Danny Fuller picks him up. Smashes him in the turnbuckle and just tosses him like he's nothing. And a side Russian leg sweep connects. Excellently done there. Oh, and a reversal by Sarah. Nice knee drop right there. So a similar knee drop beat Cold Storm at... Great American Battle Royal. We will see him in action. Next week, I am told, as a abdominal stretch is locked in, Sarah fights out. That's right, the Royal Blues will be back in action next week. As they'll take on the team of Death Ram and Wade York. Also in action next week will be Ashley White. Seraph's on the top rope. Elbow drop connects. Well done there by Seraph. Ashley White will take on El Guapo next week. Also next week, I am told, will be Scott Race in action. He's providing an open challenge not for the Central States Championship. In a match he is calling the five-minute any one challenge. I don't know if that'll stick here in HCW, but sure enough, Scott, we will give you the opportunity. He's going to offer a five minute open challenge to any wannabe wrestler, in his words. Seraph has him and a sunset flip power bomb on the outside. The count begins by referee John Hesch. Oh! Seraph reversed that charging tackle by the Phantom Danny Fuller. Fisherman suplex on the outside. Count of five by referee John Hesch. Back in the ring. As I am told, Scott Race is actually currently in Memphis at the Memphis Massacre we'll have that footage from his match against AAW champion Matt Callenber probably next week so that could be what Scott Race is wanting to have happen instead of that five minute challenge he wants us to show off that match and the cover one only a one count there Cold Storm will be here for HCW television next week. But then immediately following that, he'll head out to Los Angeles for Hollywood Havoc. So he takes on Hot Stuff Austin Starr, the Los Angeles professional wrestling champion, as a spinal tap by Seraph. My lord. I was saying. Storm will take on Hot Stuff, Austin Star, 
a Los Angeles professional wrestling champion. And Hollywood Havoc. We'll have that match for you in the coming weeks as well. That becomes available to us. Sarah firing up with some back elbows and clotheslines get tossed into the corner. The reversal, a high kick. Well done there. Oh, and the Phantom back on the attack, and another abdominal stretch applied. These two have been going right at each other in a very good matchup here for the HCW main event here tonight. A head scissor takeover. Nice drop, single leg drop kick there. Over six minutes have expired in this match. And not a single fall by either competitor to cover. One, two, three. I spoke too soon. There's our first fall. Seraph with the first fall. A shot to the back. And <laughs> Daily Fuller might right to right here with another fall. One, two. Oh, a kick out at two by Seraf. But uh, Fuller's got one more move to put him away. No, a reversal. And another reversal this time by Danny Fuller. That drop kick finds a mark, however. A reversal by Fuller. He stomps on the chest of Seraf. He picks him up. in that arm. Sarah fights out of it. Seven minutes elapsed here in our main event. Fisherman suplex. Well done there by Seraph. He goes for the cover off of it. One, two, kick out at two by Danny Fuller. Seraph goes back up top. No, oh, a reversal. Fuller got out of the way of it. And that punch connects. He has him up. Here it comes. Burning hammer. The cover. One, two. A kick out at two by Seraph. Seraph is kicked out of the burning hammer. Big body slam right there by Danny Fuller. And an atomic drop. Eight minutes have elapsed here in this championship match. Currently the falls are one nothing in favor of Seraph. And another body slam by the Phantom. Bell clap in the ropes as he's choking him out in the ropes. And John Hess is just letting that one go. I think if he tried to broke it up, break it up, Iron Man Isaac Nelson would have come into the ring and laid him out with an iron right. Two, and a kick at it two again by Seraph. Iron right hand of Iron Man Isaac Nelson. That's failed many a man in the history of HCW. Wind up, punch, oh, well done there. Speaking of the iron right hand, it's a little bit of an homage. Now the Phantom to his trainer. And a vertical suplex, nicely done there. Ms. Fuller is playing to the crowd here in the HCW Arena here in Liberty, Missouri. And another wind up punch, and you know, if Sarah's busted open. We can't see it. It's in that mask. The reversal by Sarah. Count of four by referee John Hesch. Spinning back fist. Looking like something out of the UFC with Dustin Poirier knocking off Conor McGregor a few weeks ago. Fuller on the ground and laid out. We're over halfway done and through this championship match here. That boot misses. 
Oh, and a reversal by the Seraph. And he lays him out with a neck breaker. Still 1-0 fall-wise here in this contest. Single leg drop kick connects. Seraph picks him up. And another neck breaker. Danny Fuller rolls to the outside. A little bit of relief, I would believe. And a drop toe hold by Danny Fuller. You see, many have just outsmarted Seraph there. Oh, Seraph, however, may have got him on that one. Well played there between these two. Spinning back fist, dazes. Oh, and a discus clothesline lays out. Danny Fuller and <laughs> Seraph is. Ah, oh, Seraph was playing the crowd, however, Fuller is back on the attack. A count of five by referee John Hesch. Oh, off the post! Count of seven! Picks him up. Count of eight. Oh, off the ring post again. Count of nine. Fuller better get back in the ring or this is over. It's over. Seraph has won. What a win by Seraph. Oh, what's this? JC Baker backstage getting in the face of Evan Flynn. Oh, a right hand. Folks, we're going to stick with this match as long as we can. Here, they're just fighting backstage here at the HCW Arena. Oh, my Lord. We thought HCW was going to go off air. But no, not yet. As J.C. Baker and Evan Flynn are brawling backstage here in the HCW Arena. A kick to the gut by Evan Flynn. Flynn has him up. Oh, no. Evan, no. God, no. Jesus Christ, Evan. That may have done more damage than anyone could imagine to J.C. Baker. Now Evan is controlling the head. Oh, and JC's fighting it off, thank goodness. He has him. And he whips him into the wall. Lord. HCW heavyweight champion apparently had some issue with Evan Flynn. Probably all the trash he's been talking backstage, so he was decided to take it right to him here tonight. He picks up that, that shelf. I don't know why he picked up the shelf. I don't know how much damage you could do with a shelf. Snapmare takeover and a neck snap. Ah, that's got to be painful there on the concrete here at the Maybe Center in Liberty, Missouri, the HCW Arena. And it's fought off right there by J.C. Baker, whatever. Evan Flynn was going for. And he'll get whipped into the wall again. Oh, fought off right there by Evan Flynn. Flynn really wants to move down this hallway more. However, it's fought off again by J.C. Baker. Oh, into that... Road box right there. Oh, Flynn. No. Oh, Patella Brainbuster by Evan Flynn. Fought off again by JC Baker. Oh, into the road box, but the reversal by Evan. Big. Calf kick right there. He has him and he'll whip him into the, the electrical box. They're lucky. Oh my, JC, no! Pile driver, good God! Ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've received word that we're, we're out of time here tonight on HCW. Ladies and gentlemen, from all of us here at HCW, I'm the engine, Brock Gorton. 
and we'll see you next week. Good night, everybody.